The following is a live sports presentation of Glycod. G-L-I-C-O-D dot com. Glycod's coverage of IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball starts now. Eleventh region semifinal action on tap game number two this afternoon from Dunbar High School. Hello and welcome in Justin Kalen alongside uh, Coach Murray here with me. We're excited for another game here. We had a good one in our first matchup here tonight, and now ready for a great crossing team. 32 and one on the season, set to take on a 23 and nine Madison Southern Eagles team. Coach, we're excited. The folks filing in, and we're ready for basketball action here again at Dunbar. Well, we're set for a great semifinal match with great, great crossing, the number one team in the state of Kentucky and nationally ranked going up against an up-and-coming Madison Southern team that is no pushover that can flat out score the basketball and they can make shots all the way from Berea. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, as both teams are in, the, in their final warm-ups right now as we've got just under 30 minutes left here on our pregame clock as we get set for a good one. A fun battle. It was a 30-point matchup first time around this season as Great Crossing was able to defeat this Madison Southern team, but both coaches expecting a different outcome here tonight. Well, both coaches understand that it's March. They've been around a long time with Coach Wright and Coach Page. They're going to have their ball clubs ready to play. The regular season is out the window. Yeah. It's March madness. Anything can happen, just like you saw down the road in Louisville last night. Hey, at the end of 32 minutes, it's whoever has one more point than the opponent moves on to the championship game. Absolutely, and we'll see how it all shakes out here in this one. Game number two of your 11th region semifinal action here this afternoon from Dunbar. We'll go ahead and step aside for a break, and Coach got a chance to catch up with the Madison Southern coach Steve Wright prior to this game tonight. We'll hear that interview when we come back on the other side right here on Glycod. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. We first opened during the Great Depression. And we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher. By making a real difference in the communities we serve. And by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. This is your season to save on our incredible selection of new Kias from Cartown Kia. You can't beat the powerful design of the new 2024 Sportage. It's your choice. The new 2023 Kia Sportage, just $349 down and $349 per month. Or the new 2023 Kia Sorento, just $349 down and $349 per month. Unmatched design, performance, and savings all in one at Cartown Kia and CartownKiaUSA.com. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. Let's get real. 
For a lot of people, four years of college might as well be a million. With us, you can get a certificate in a matter of months and start a career right away. College for the real world. College for your world. This edition of Coach's Comments is brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Get started by finding the program that works for you at bluegrass.kctcs.edu. Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Never underestimate you. Here at the 11th Region Tournament with Coach Wright of Madison Southern. Coach, you got great crossing tonight, but what a commendable job you've done with your first year with this bunch out of Madison Southern. How do you feel about the game tonight? Well, when you get to this point, as you know, it's going to be a tough game, you know, no matter what. So, uh, I, I, you know, Greg Crossing's had a great year. They haven't lost a Kentucky team all year. Um, so we, we know what we're up against. These kids have played them growing up, you know, and all that. They've had a, they've had a great season, um, really talented bunch that plays well together. They're well coached. So, it, you know, be a, it's going to be a real challenge for us. But, um, hey, you play all year to get to this point and, and accept the next challenge, whatever it is. So uh, we're excited about the opportunity and, and feel like we're going to be ready to play. And, and uh We've played a great schedule, and if that's going to benefit us, it'll be tonight. Well, you have three of the best guards that I've coached against, and the Twins and then with Jay Rose. Um, those guys, I know they give you a shot night in and night out mm -hmm. because of their ability to score the ball, but now you're going up against a seven-foot Malachi Moreno in the paint. Yeah. So how do you counter your guard play versus their size and athleticism? Well, you know, it's, it's – uh, you know, we got to let our guys play. We got to let them play a little bit. You know, they, they got to make some shots and, and play. And then we got to, you know, they're, they're good enough that we can't just focus on one guy defensively, but right. we've got to keep him off the glass and we've got to make him take some tough shots because he he's the one guy that on the court on either end, on either team that can take the game over, as right. you know. So uh, it, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge with who's pressuring the ball. Who's guarding him and who's helping on the other side? You know, we got to have three pe three people involved in every possession on that, and guard the other guys that are out there too. So you know, it's going to be tough. Absolutely, you know, Vince Dawson is a really unheralded player for them mm -hmm. uh, that can create matchup issues with his size and versatility. Coach, I say you're here. It's March Madness. Yeah. You're here for a reason, and hopefully, like you said, your guys hit some shots. Who knows what can happen? Oh, yeah. And we, you know, we've played a lot of teams in Lexington and Louisville and played all over the state, and, and we're a confident bunch. I mean, we, we, we don't play hard, and, and we're, we're not backing down from anybody, and we're going to play. And, and uh, I like the way we're playing. You know, we got down the other night, first round of the region early, and really held our composure and chipped away and had a lead at the half. Felt really good about that against LCA. So uh, I, I love our team. I love our guys. And man, we're just looking forward to the next challenge. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Coach. Again, you haven't won over 400 games by accident. So keep doing what you're doing and go out here and you may possibly slay the giant. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. Let's get real. You could go to work right after high school, but spend a little time with us and we'll give you a better chance to do more be more and earn more college for the real world college for your world paramedics do the incredible they help save lives and so can you by donating at csl plasma your plasma donation can help create 24 critical life-saving medicines and you can be rewarded for your generosity every plasma donation can do so much for so many do the amazing. Help save lives. Donate plasma today at your local CSL Plasma Center. Tradition means values, and we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky.
New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s, and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock, so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter, and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Back once more at Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Justin Kalen alongside Murray Garvin as we get set to bring you the second of two in the 11th region semifinals here this afternoon as it is the 23-9 Madison Southern Eagles get set to take on the 32-1 Great Crossing Warhawks. Coach, let's take a look at this Madison Southern team real quick. As I mentioned, 23-9, 44 district champs coming into this one as they took care of Madison Central in the championship and then it was a 76-70 win over Lexington Christian in the quarterfinals of the regional round. A team that is playing very well. They are the top scoring team in the 11th region at 75.2 points per game. So very impressive numbers when you break it down for this Madison Southern team. Yes, these guys can flat out score the basketball led by Jay Rose and the Hudson Twins. The, those three guards can put the ball in the floor and they got unlimited range and they're fearless competitors. Yeah, Jay Rose averaged 23 a game. Braden Hudson, 14 a game. Zach Hudson, 15.6 a game. So absolutely got to rely on all three of those as Braden Hudson, Jay Rose, both nominated to the all 11th region team here this season. So definitely a, a great season for them. But it's a tough game, but they're ready for it. Well, they're ready and all of Berea is here. Yeah. You know, they turn out for Madison Southern basketball. And a little inside fact, the last game I coached was in Berea versus this same bunch at okay. Madison Southern. So I'm a witness to their scoring power, and I'm a witness to their fan base. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and jump into our keys to the game. Tonight's keys to the game are presented by Martin's Peterbilt of Central Kentucky. They strive to keep your trucks moving through outstanding parts availability and unmatched service, all while glorifying Jesus Christ and building relationships. Coach, let's first start with the away team, Madison Southern here in this one. Couple things they need to key on here in this one. Shots must fall. Shots must fall. And I also said, can Jay Rose to the occasion? You know, if he can lead them and the twins do what they normally do from the perimeter, it gives them a puncher's chance tonight against the heavyweights of great crossing. Yeah, no doubt. How about for the Warhawks on their side of things? 32-1 and one on the season. A couple things they need to key in on. Well, they got to establish paint dominance. Malachi Moreno, there's no matchup in the 11th region that he's not the favorite inside, but they're not only led by him. Vince Dawson, a 6'5 wing that is very versatile and a host of other players that complement the inside game, but they're able to do it any way you like. Yeah, no doubt about it, as we'll see how it all plays out here as we've got just over 15 minutes left on our pregame clock. We'll go ahead and step aside for another break here. Come back on the other side. I got a chance to catch up with great crossing head coach Steve Page prior to this one. But before we do that, just a reminder, this broadcast is authorized by the 11th region with production rights owned by Glycod Media. Our aim is to provide the most positive representation for all participating student athletes, coaches, and 
game personnel. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more as we continue to get you set for 11th Region semifinal action here tonight on Glycon. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo, plus free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at lexoutdoorpower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. Drive with the confidence and security of a pre-owned Kia from Cartown Kia. This incredible certification package is loaded with a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 10 years of national roadside assistance, and two years of free maintenance. Choose from over 70 certified pre-owned Kias or over 1,000 vehicles of all makes and models. It's new car driving at used cars prices with certified pre-owned Kias from CartownKiaUSA.com. I love Head Start. Children love Head Start, and you will too. Community Action Council's prep academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Teacher, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? I'm your overly competitive brother. Psych, and I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? No! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. With Fast Signs, see the visual possibility in your business. See it in lights and flags, on a van, in metal, on the floor, in color. With signs and graphics, you can say anything, do anything, be anything. So make your statement. With your masterful team of visual marketing experts, anything is possible. Fast Signs, make your statement. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Back here at Dunbar High School as we continue to get you set for 11th Region semifinal action. Game number two on the afternoon. Justin Kalen back now joined by Great Crossing head coach Steve Page. Coach, in your fifth season, you all dispatched to Bryan Station in the quarterfinal. What can you tell us about that one? Um, you know, it was kind of what we expected. We expected a, a, I mean, it's 11th Region. All games are going to be close. All games are going to be physical. Um, you know, we just made enough plays, um, you know, to do it. Tough draw. You know, obviously, Bryan Station's really, really good. Um, you know, I told somebody, you know, our district's probably the weakest of the four districts in this year in the uh, in the region. So we paid for it with the toughest, probably the toughest first round matchup, um, which is fine. We were, we were ready for it. They were a little bit more physical um, than I thought they would be after watching them on film. So. Um, you know, we just made enough plays there in the second half. Um, you know, our kids kind of refused to lose, I thought, um, you know, uh, in the second half and, and uh, did what it took to come out with the victory. Speaking of coming out with a victory, you all took care of this Madison Southern team, 76-46 in the regular season. What do you remember about that one, and how do you expect it to be different here tonight? I remember it means nothing. <laughs> um, but they were missing Zach Hudson that night. Um, that's obviously their, you know, second leading scorer. Um, you know, and they're not very deep. They only played six kids the other night, and the six kids had played three minutes. So um, when you take, you know, one of their top five kids out of the lineup, it's, 
the games are the games are relevant anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like I, I told my I text my kids in the at halftime of the Seneca St. X game last night and said, This is what I've been talking about all week. You know, uh, St. X beat Seneca by thirty three weeks ago and uh, last night Seneca won by twenty seven. So regular season um, at the end of the day means absolutely positively nothing. Um, we've had a great season to this point. Um, but you know, and you can't take away from what we've done, but at the same point, it doesn't it doesn't mean anything when we when the ball tips off here in an hour. Yeah, you mentioned Hudson being out. He's our second leading scorer. Jay Rose, their top leading scorer. Tough matchup. What's the plan against him defensively? Try to take him out of the game here in this one. He's going to score. We just want him to, to have to take as many shots as possible to get his 20. So, you know, we don't want him to be efficient. We want to make everything tough on him. So when he gets to 20, we hope it's on 15, 16, 17 shots. Um, you know, we've got to guard the three-point line. They're a unique matchup for us because we like to leave Malachi in the middle as much as we possibly can. They spread you out. And, um, their five-man is 6'2", and a, you know, and a shooter. So he made three against us, I think, last time we played. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to guard our yard a little bit more um, than we even do a lot of times because we can't leave shooters. Um, we can't let them get hot. Um, you know, that's that's a recipe for disaster for us. But we, we keep the ball in front of us, um, and we don't have to help us over help where we give up open shots. Um, that's going to be huge, um, you know, for us. So, and being physical on, like I said, being physical on roads, just making it as tough as possible. Um, we want We want to – you know, give our best shot defensively, and and uh, you know we held them 14 for 54 last time we played them. That won't happen again. Um, but um, you know, we just want to be physical and, and make it as tough as possible on all their guys. We just don't we don't we want to move them off the line and make sure they don't have any standstill wide open shots. All right, coach. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. Best of luck today, going for your first ever 11th Region Championship appearance. And we will step aside for a break here. Come back on the other side, and we will bring you. The the starting lineups here as we get you set for 11th region semifinal action this evening from Dunbar. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. College for your world. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. The words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors.
Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin as we continue to get you set for 11th region semifinal action here this evening as it is the 23-9 Madison Southern Eagles set to do battle with the 32-1 Great Crossing Warhawks. And Coach, let's take a, a little time here to get a closer look at this Great Crossing team. Fifth season for this Warhawks program, and they have done a fantastic job, especially this season, as they were able to win the 41st district, a comfortable 99-46 win against Western Hills, and then took care of Bryan Station 69-61 in the quarterfinals here of this 11th region. Have not lost to an opponent in the state of Kentucky. Their lone loss, as you can see there, a team from Virginia, a double overtime loss, so Fantastic season, to say the least. To say the least, uh, unbelievable season, one for the record books, but it will not be capped unless they capture a reg reg uh, 11th region crown and tonight they got to go through Madison Southern to get to that championship game. And I talked about how Madison Southern was the top scoring team in the 11th region at 75.2. Great Crossing right behind them at 74.8 as they are second in scoring in the 11th region. But defensively, this is a Great Crossing team that really causes issues for opponents as they're only allowing 50 points a game. Well, there's no empty space in the half court for them. Now, if you wanted a team to be on a college court, it's Great Crossing because they have college size and there's nowhere to drive because of their length and plus they got the big fella in the middle waiting for you when you come to the rim. Yeah, it's going to be tough on Madison Southern here tonight, but we'll see how it all shakes out as we'll step aside for our break here, come back on the other side. We'll bring you some starting lineups, series information, as well as our officials for this one. Stick with us. We've got the 11th region semifinal game number two coming right up on Glycon. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables, but last week I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. From Glycod, it's IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. IBEW 369, power up your potential. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Never underestimate you. CSL Plasma, do the amazing, help save lives. Meyer, higher standards, lower prices. Traditional Bank, because who you bank with matters. And by Community Action of Lexington, Martins Peterbilt, Lexington Outdoor and Power Equipment, and Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen. Now courtside for all the action from Glycod on IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. And back here inside Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School as we get set for the 11th Region Semifinals game number two here this afternoon. Justin Kalen alongside Murray Garvin. And, Coach, we've got to bring some starting lineups. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage opening doors. Let's first start for the Eagles of Madison Southern. They're going to trot out Kaysen Nobby, a 5'8 junior, averaging 13 points a game, 46% shooter from three. Jay Rose, a 6'3 senior. Braden Hudson, a 6'0 senior. Zach Hudson, a 6'1 senior, wearing number four. And the final starter, Avery Davidson, wearing number 33, a 6'1 senior. Any thoughts about that starting lineup? Like I said, the Hudson twins and Jay Rose, three guards that can flat out fill it up and they can shoot it with unlimited range. 
And for great crossing, they're going to trot out Vince Dawson. That's a name you'll hear a lot as he's averaging 18 points a game. A 6'5 junior wearing number one. Junius Burrell, a 5'9 junior averaging 11.2 points per game wearing number five. Gage Richardson, a 6'4 junior. He averages 7.5 points a game wearing number 11. Jeremiah Godfrey, a 6'7 senior wearing number 21. And the final starter for great crossing, number 24, Malachi Moreno a 7-1 junior here this season. As we will step aside for a break here, set for the National Anthem, we'll come back on the other side, give you some series info and the opening tip on Glycon. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. College for your world. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. National Anthem has wrapped up, and we are into our starting lineups right now, which we gave you in that last segment. Madison Southern getting set to do battle with the Great Crossing Warhawks. Great Crossing will be donning their white uniforms here in this one as they're the home team, Madison Southern, and their Navy uniforms here this evening. Justin Kalen back alongside Murray Garvin as we will take a look at some series information. These two teams have only played five times. Great Crossing has won the last three after Madison Southern took the first two. But, Coach, this is the first playoff matchup between these two teams. Well, the fact that Madison Southern has beaten them twice in the five games series tells you that it's possible yeah. and I imagine it was when this group from Great Crossing was really young when they played so who knows what we'll get tonight yeah, absolutely our officials for this evening Chas Beerbond, Gerald Gray and Tony Montano will be the three officials out there controlling this game as we are just about set as some final preparations here for Great Crossing as they are coached, as I mentioned, Steve Page in his fifth season, 112 wins, 43 losses. 
Coach Steve Wright on the other side of things in his first season here at Madison Southern, but he has been all around the state in his 33rd season. 754 wins for Coach Wright. Compare that to just 290 losses. Very impressive career. He's a winning coach. Coach is winning basketball. This great crossing bunch, this starting five to me is the best starting five in the state. Well, I'm anxious to see him here tonight as Malachi Moreno wins the tip off without even getting a fight for it. As the Madison Southern player backs off, now a three here for the Warhawks. And an early miss, but they pull down the offensive rebound. Now the stick back opportunity, and that's up and in by Vince Dawson. Great poise by Vince on that rebound to get a center of gravity and go up with perfect form. This is a very good three-point shooting, great crossing team, but like you mentioned, they've also got a nice height advantage and can take advantage of that down low as well. So they're really, it's, it's a tough battle for Madison Southern. Anxious to see how they handle themselves here in the early going. As Jay Rose handing that one off for Braden Hudson. Here is Hudson firing up the three, and that's going to fall well short and land out of bounds. Moreno set to inbounds the ball. A 7-1 junior. Getting all kinds of love from the collegiate level. As the Warhawks. Trying to avoid their first defeat versus a Kentucky opponent this season as they drop it down low for Moreno, and he gets it up and in. That's hard to stop, Coach. Well, it's hard to stop, and especially you can see how fundamentally sound he is. If he keeps that ball high, Madison Southern has no one to compete with it. That's a mistake a lot of bigs make is they want to put that ball on the floor, but you've got a height advantage. Just keep that thing up in the air. Keep it high. Keep it high. You want to stay seven foot and not bring it down and become 6-1. Right. There's another ball knocked out of play here, but it'll stay with the Eagles. 44th district championship for them this season. As inbounding the basketball here for Zach Hudson. He's quickly going to sling it around the perimeter as it's now Case and Nobby. As Nobby inside, going to fire it up. That was actually... That was Braden Hudson, not Nobby, who gets the finish there. Yeah, Nobby is kind of their quarterback point guard. The rest of the guys do all the scoring. Three-pointer fired up here by Dawson as it misses. And a good rebound inside there by Hudson over top of Moreno. Now on the other side of things for H Zach Hudson. He'll fire the three, and he can't convert. Back and forth we go here in the early going. Talk about these two teams being high scoring. We're going to run back and forth all game long as the takeaway here as that one was stripped by the Eagles. Now Jay Rose wearing number one in blue as he gets the basketball here, scoring 18 points or 22 points a game, excuse me, 22.9. As Rose with a rocket of a pass down low, and how about that step through to free himself up? But Case and Nobby unable to get that one to fall, and quickly the Warhawks the other direction, and they'll miss. A lot of times in these games, Coach finds takes some time for teams to find their footing. Seems like a case of that here to start this one. Yeah, you know, jitters, pre, you, it, it just comes with the territory. This is a region semifinal game, probably the largest crowd that both teams have played in front of this season. Hey, it's to be expected. Yeah, fantastic crowd here this afternoon. As the Eagles set to inbound here. It's in with Avery Davidson. He sends it to his right. Three-pointer no good, but Hudson on the rebound. We're going to get a foul on the floor. I just like the grit of this Madison Southern team. Again, they're going to keep coming at you. A missed shot is not going to deter them at all. Yeah, you got to play in this game like you're the better team. And eventually you'll start believing it, right? As that one blocked by Moreno. And he nearly turns it over, but Great Crossing is able to stay in possession. As Dawson trying to drive to the hoop, and he will miss and draw some contact. 
like a little bit of a late call there. I would like to see that one again. I thought that was a charge. I thought Hudson was set up after the block from Moreno. I thought he was set up in the paint and waiting on Dawson right there, but the ref saw it the other way. So now Dawson will head to the free throw stripe where he calmly knocks down the first one. Vince Dawson this season, 74% from the stripe as he gets them both. And, guys, he's an excellent basketball player, and he's also garnering Division I looks yep. and would not be surprised to see him at a Power 5 school. It's now Navi back in the offensive side of things, gets a screen from Hudson, now slides it over to the left for Braden Hudson, but gets it right back. Now off for Zach Hudson. Braden and Zach twins as... Zach battling for possession there, able to force the tie up, and it'll stay here with Madison Southern. Robbie will take over for the inbounder here. Early on, I see the attention to detail for great crossing to really guard that three-point line against Madison Southern. As losing it out of play is Jay Rose, the all-11th region selection. Oh, they're going to say last touch by Great Crossing. Wow. That honesty commercial really isn't true right there. Jay <laughs> Rose could have come to the official and said, I hit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, certainly looked like he did. Either way, the Eagles will stay in possession here with Zach Hudson. Step back shot, and that's a tough one. As he tried to shoot that over, Jeremiah Godfrey, the 6'7 senior, has now another ball landing out of bounds and a turnover here for the Warhawks. I'm watching the contrast in coaching. Coach Wright has been very calm early on. It's like he understands his guys are a little bit tight, and Coach Page has been up and down that sideline. <laughs> Coach Page has a lot of energy. Picked up, picked up on that in my pregame interview with him. Jay Rose in back in possession here all the way to the hoop, but another block by Moreno. Quickly up he goes, and Dawson, oh, wow, that rims out. Surprising miss there by Vince Dawson. So it remains a 6-2 ball game. We played over halfway through this first quarter. Nobby thought about a sidestep three. Now they'll get a better look here. That one's off by Davidson. And a foul following the rebound. That's the open look that Madison Southern, they got to be able to knock that down right there. You're not going to get too many opportunities like that. Maybe he was open for a reason, but... Those are the shots that you got to knock down if you're going to try to knock off this great crossing squad. Davidson, the lone starter for Madison Southern, not averaging double figures. He's putting up six points a game. As down low for Moreno and good contest defensively by Davidson. Well, Madison Southern, they're really packing it in on Moreno. It's going to take a couple of perimeter threes in order to loosen up that defense. Madison Southern... Eagles mascot roaming the sidelines here for this one. As over the top for Moreno, he's able to go up and get it with ease and slam it down. Not much you can do about that. No, there is not. As that's his second bucket of the night. Now floating it in the other way is Nobby, but that ball blocked. And back comes Dawson with it, crossing the timeline. Finds a man in the corner, three-pointer here, and gets the roll. As that was Junius Burrell shooting it and making it, and we're going to get a timeout as we'll step aside for one with them. 11-2, great crossing here on Glycon. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product is based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name is Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. 
Hot start in this one for Great Crossing as they lead by nine here, under three to play in this first quarter. Justin Kalen back alongside Murray Garvin. And, Coach, I talked about this Great Crossing team, how they can get it inside or they can shoot from the perimeter. We saw Junius Burrell knock down the three there before the timeout. He is 44% on the season from deep. And now they get a takeover as Burrell get back to back buckets. He's got five now as his point total matches his jersey number. From up here, Justin, it doesn't do us any justice. The size and length of Great Crossing is really affecting the, the shooting of Madison Southern. And Southern, how about that, as Braden Hudson takes some contact and completes the shot. So three-point play opportunity upcoming. These guys won't go away. And again, their ability to run off three, three baskets in a row or back to back to back, they're not going to be knocked out of this game early. They're going to keep continuing to fight and try to find a way. That's been evidenced here early on as Hudson able to complete the three-point play. He's got all five now for Madison Southern. As Malachi Moreno on top of the key slides this one to Burrell. Passing it around the per perimeter here. Dawson. He'll drop it down low, and a foul called. That's going to be a charge. Great job there defensively by Madison Southern. That was Braden Hudson taking the charge. It's a smart, heady basketball player. You're outmatched by probably five inches in the post and drew the charge right there. Great play by Hudson. As there you get a look at it as Jeremiah Godfrey maybe dips that shoulder a little bit into the chest of Hudson. Drawing the call as Madison Southern trying to get this closer as they've got it to within eight. Now Davidson a chance for three. Another good look for him. But he can't convert as Burrell clears the rebound. Now Dawson's miss. And how easy is that for Moreno? Offensive rebound and stick back. And quickly the Eagles up the floor. As Jay Rose in possession, he'll get it back now. And Rose being guarded by Vince Dawson. That's a tough assignment for both guys. That's well, a great matchup of two really solid players. Hudson off for Davidson, back in the hands of Rose. Now in the corner, Nobby's three. Moreno another rebound. Wide open three here as Holman unable to knock that one down. L.J. Holman, a 6'1 freshman, shoots 42% from three on the season, and Jay Rose with an easy bucket. Yeah, Madison Southern, they got to make Moreno continue to run the floor. If they get a consistent rim runner, you want to try to get into the big fella's wind, okay? And right there, they got a rim run for a layup. Now oh, here's Moreno again inside, takes the contact, but can't get the shot to fall. So he'll head to the stripe for a pair as we've got less than 30 seconds left to play here in this first quarter. Moreno on the season, just a smidge under 69% from the stripe. And good looking stroke there as he knocks it down. New man in the game now for the Warhawks, Jalen Warren, a 5'10 senior. You see him out there just behind Malachi Moreno. And the second one also up and in. So eight points now for Moreno here in this first quarter, and his team on top by 10. But he's going to head over to the sideline, and Jeremiah Godfrey back on the floor. It's a good move by Coach Page. He usually gives Moreno a break toward the end of the first and third quarter just to get him fresh and for about the second half. Pass down the floor there as we're going to get a foul on the floor. But that ball thrown on a dime for Zach Hudson. By the way, Hudson picked up that last foul for Madison Southern. That was his second. And now he's going to get a chance at the free throw strike. That's coaching right there. To see that and to execute that at that point in the game, I give that one to Coach Wright. Well, 
How about the intelligence to know that you got Patrick Mahomes inbounding the <laughs> basketball? Impressive right. throw. Right. As Hudson, one more opportunity here from the stripe after missing the first. And he's got it. First point of the evening for Zach Hudson. Twin brother Braden with five of them here in this first quarter as it's a 17-8 ball game. First quarter winding down. Crossing the timeline with it is Burrell. And the Warhawks going to hold for the final shot here. Now with Vince Dawson. They'll initiate the offense down around five seconds, getting inside with it. That shot no good. A heave here coming for Madison Southern. And just off the mark as Nobby thought he had it, but it misses off just to the left. And that'll bring us to the end of for the first quarter of play. 17-8, great crossing as we'll step aside for a break here, come back on the other side, bring you the second quarter of action. Stick with us. We've got more upcoming on Glycon. Get real. We offer a lot of the same courses you'll find at a four-year college. But with our small classes and personal attention, you won't get lost in the crowd. College for the real world. College for your world. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo. Plus, free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at LexOutdoorPower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. 17 to 8. Great crossing on top of Madison Southern after one quarter of play. Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin. Chris Lamar on production here this afternoon as filling in for him here. He'd normally be on the call but been under the weather, so... We stepped up to do this game, and Coach, it's been a good start to this one for great crossing thus far. What does Madison Southern need to do to try to claw their way back in as we head towards the halftime break after this quarter? Well, they got to continue. Well, I was about to say continue to <laughs> shut down the paint, but now they got hit by a three ball right there. They just got to hang in, man. Got to hang in and keep playing and try to execute and get better shots on the offensive end. The last three splashed home by Gage Richardson, a 6'4 junior. Another really good shooter for this Warhawks team, 42% from beyond the arc. As Davidson trying to get it off for Jay Rose. They've done a nice job defensively against Jay Rose thus far. And now it's in the hands with Rose. He got two points in that first quarter. And here he goes trying to get two more, and he will. Justin, Jay Rhodes is capable of scoring against anyone. He's just got to, once he sees the ball go in, he could run off a couple of buckets in a row. That shot missing, but Moreno on the rebound and stick back. How good has he been here in this one? Well, when your tallest man is six foot three for Madison Southern, wow. you know, he doesn't have much resistance, but he's still getting the job done in the paint. As now the floater up, no good. I was thinking about that earlier. Jeremiah Godfrey, number 21 in white, not out there right now, but he's listed at six foot seven, and him alone, even without Moreno, would cause this Madison Southern team some problems size-wise. Then you throw Moreno into the mix, and sheesh. As in the corner, Richardson passes up the three this time. He's going to throw it right into the hands of Braden Hudson, who misses and puts his hands on his head. He couldn't believe it. Now quickly back, Dawson floats it up. Offensive rebound, and he'll get it back up and in. That was just a man's rebound right there. Absolutely. Grab that one-handed. Not to get our second NFL reference, but very OBJ-like <laughs> snagging that with one hand. 
And with that, we are going to get a timeout taken here with 5.57 left in the first half of play. We'll step aside for one as well. Stick with us. We've got more coming up for your 11th region semifinal game number two on Glycon. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Twenty four ten coming out of the timeout here as we've got under six to play in this first half. Justin Kalen back alongside Murray Garvin. Has a great start to this one for Great Crossing. We'll see how. Madison Southern could try to battle her way back in this thing, and that's a good start as they get it into the hands of Jay Rose, but once again, he can't convert. Yeah, just poor shot selection right there. Turnaround jump shot by Jay Rose just tells you the defense the great crossing is playing. Good defense on that possession for Madison Southern as they get the stop. Davidson's thought about a three. Now Jay Rose will try to challenge Malachi Moreno and gets it swatted out of there. Now the other direction, and that's up and in by Jalen Warren. 26 to 10 now. Nobby trying to drive in against Warren. That ball stripped away, but they're going to roll a foul. First foul of the quarter for either team. You can see the frustration settling in on Madison Southern. You know, after every call or lack of a call, they're, they're getting demonstrative body motions and negative energy. They got to play the next play and move on. Well, that's what I was going to bring up as Rose fires the jumper. It's almost costing them defensively as they're spending time moping and not getting down the floor. As the three-pointer here, that was not the issue defensively that time, but Vince Dawson gets it to drop. And quickly the other way, Hudson's bucket. He's now got seven here in this one as it's now 29-12. Ball in the hands of Junius Burrell. He'll get it back now. Over for Richardson who drops it down low for Moreno. Now Burrell slicing and dicing through the lane and gets the floater to fall. They're just tough to stop offensively. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows their role, and they stay within their game. Well, they're getting so much production from so many different guys. And you can say the same for Madison Southern as well, but so far it's been pretty crisp basketball played by Great Crossing. By the way, the winner of this one will advance to the 11th region or championship on Tuesday against Lexington Catholic, who played very well here in the earlier session today. Navi sending it over to Zach Hudson, and that finally falls for him. First field goal as he's now up to four points in the lead down to seven or 16. They just got to get a couple more of those to get them back in the game, and they're capable of doing it. Sure. As Dawson out top, Burrell, he's already knocked one down. Give him another. About 10 points now for Junius Burrell. As Hudson thought about firing that one for the answer, instead slides it over to his twin, Braden, who does, and he misses. Now Burrell, another chance here. Tracks down his own offensive rebound, then fires it out of bounds as he was trying to get it to Jalen Warren in the corner. Just over three minutes left here in this first half. Nobby gets it across the timeline. 
uses the screen. Now slicing into the lane and drawing the foul as that's Mason Davis, the 6'1 junior, newly inserted into the game, and he'll head to the stripe for a pair. Davis, 83.3% on the season. Just 12 attempts from the line, though, so see if he can knock these down as he calmly does with the first. Well, it's a strong drive right there. He missed one of the Hudson twins open at the top of the key, but he felt he had an opportunity. And as long as he goes to the free throw line and gets paid, and I don't want to jinx him, goes two for two. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> As that'll make it a 34-17 game now. Vince Dawson down low for Moreno. And Moreno will head back to the stripe for a couple. Ten points for Moreno. He joins Junius Burrell in double figures. Vince Dawson right there as well with nine points. Well, when he posts up that deep, Madison Southern just don't have an answer for him. You got to try to push him off the block as far as you can to give the double team time to get there. He knocks in the first one here. A KT tape on that right knee. And gets them both. Now 12 points for Moreno. Davidson across the Mid-court line with it, and he loses it. That one's taken out of there. Now Dawson all the way to the hoop and uses the glass for the finish. It's good hands by Jalen Warren poking that thing away from Davidson. Now Davidson in possession, being guarded by Moreno. Gets it off for Zach Hudson. Nice move to the bucket. I don't know how Coach Wright does it, but he's got to try to pull Malachi away from the basket so you can open up driving lanes for your other guys. Well, you heard Coach Page in our pregame interview tonight. He wants to keep Moreno in the paint as long as or as much as he can here in this one as Vince Dawson splashes home another three. Ten points in the second quarter now for Dawson. And the other direction, that's another finish for Zach Hudson. He's got seven in the quarter. It's a 20-point Madison Southern deficit. Burrell thought about the three. And Dawson won't think. He'll just fire it, and he connects again. I said it in the pregame. He's an outstanding basketball player. Malachi gets a lot of the headlines, but Vince Dawson is the best Robin in the business. Uh, you could make a case he's the Batman as he's <laughs> averaging 18 points a game this season. Already has 17 here in this first half today. What an unbelievable performance here in this first half. Right. He is very effective and able to shoot the ball from three, and he could put it on the dribble and create his own shot. It's just Malachi gets the headlines. Yeah. Let me say it that way. No, you don't see too many seven-footers at the high school level, so rightfully so. Right. New man into the game, L.J. Holman, the freshman coming back on. As he'll guard the inbounds here. As Braden Hudson inbounding it for Mason Davis, who's back in the game. Davis off now for Braden Hudson. And he gets double teamed, and that is a tough double team as Moreno was part of it. But Madison Southern going to get away with it as Great Crossing throws this one out of play. Just over a minute left, 44-21 now. Nearly taking that one away from Nobby, and Nobby can't catch that one cleanly, and that's going to be an over and back. Didn't think they were going to call it, but that ball was never tipped. The correct call, and it goes back to the Warhawks. Oh, 27 points in this quarter for Great Crossing. He's now bringing it across is Holman. Holman off to his left. Christian Martin 
Now in the game for Great Crossing as he's got it now. Gives it back up for Holman who spins inside the lane. Now Martin will fire the three. The lefty can't convert. And going up high to pull down that rebound was Micah Whitaker. On the other end, Hudson trying to get a shot to fall, and he does. Now 10 points for Braden Hudson. It's back to a 20-point game. 10 seconds left in the half. Dawson surveying, trying to find some space. Kicks it inside, off for Moreno, who can't convert but does get fouled. So he'll head back to a place where he has, quite frankly, spent a good chunk of time in this first half. That's really the best defense that they can have against him, but unfortunately, he's a solid free throw shooter. Well, there you see the action to get him the basketball down low. I thought Christian Martin was going to go up with it, but might as well get it off to your seven-footer who draws the contact and able to hit the first free throw. And he gets them both. Now a heave here for Madison Southern as that nearly goes, but it doesn't, and that will bring us to the end of our first half of play. Great crossing, 46, Madison Southern, 24, as we'll step aside for a break here, come back on the other side, and we'll break it all down, give you some stats as well as look forward to the second half of play. Stick with us, more 11th region semifinal action coming right up on Glycon. Children love Head Start, and you will too. Community Action Council's Prep Academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Patron, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. With Fast Signs, see the visual possibility in your business. See it in lights and flags, on a van, in metal, on the floor, in color. With signs and graphics, you can say anything, do anything, be anything. So make your statement. With your masterful team of visual marketing experts, anything is possible. Fast Signs, make your statement. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. Tradition means values. And we want a banker who has the same philosophy. Traditional Bank is a Kentucky-based business, and that does mean a lot to a business that is based in Kentucky. They know what we're going through. They are always there for us, and that means more than anything else. My name is Allison. I choose Traditional Bank because of the personal service. Paddle on in to Canoe, Kentucky. Tonight's Halftime Report is brought to you by IBEW Local 369. Find out about their apprenticeship and training programs that help you earn while you learn at IBEWLocal369.com. IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential. 
Back here inside Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School as we are in the midst of our halftime report here this evening. A 46-24 lead for Great Crossing over Madison Southern. Justin Galen back here alongside Murray Garvin. And, Coach, it was a fantastic performance for Great Crossing in that first half. Seemed like everything clicking on all cylinders for them. 46 points in a high school game at the half tells you that your offense is moving the way that you want it to move. The ball movement, different guys scoring. They're not just going through one option. It seems like everybody's ready to play and ready to knock down shots. Yeah, they shot the ball very well. They rebounded the ball very well. And both teams, by all accounts, took care of the basketball very well in that first half as well. Unfortunately for Madison Southern, they just couldn't get the offense cooking like Great Crossing had. Well, the size on the defensive end is something that Madison Southern may not be accustomed to. Anytime you got a 6'7 wing and then you got a seven footer in the paint, and then you got a six five wing. It's hard to get the same shot that you're accustomed to playing against guys your size or smaller. Yeah, no doubt about it, as it is a 46 24 lead for Great Crossing as both teams out in the locker room. Some students down there on the floor getting some recognition here at the halftime break. We'll go ahead and step aside for our break now, and we'll come back on the other side. We'll bring you some of the first half statistics as well. As look forward to the second half of play. Stick with us. More coming right up on Glycod. The reason I went to Traditional Bank, I just felt at peace. The atmosphere was different. Anytime we need anything, Traditional Bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose Traditional Bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 Bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. Home of excellent service, support, and satisfaction, Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment is your one-stop mower shop. Family-owned since 1985, Lexington Outdoor offers top brands like Husqvarna, Toro, Grasshopper, and Echo, plus free pickup and delivery. Located just two miles west of Douglas High School, they're open weekdays and most Saturday mornings. For more info, stop in or visit their website at lexoutdoorpower.com. Lexington Outdoor Power Equipment, the right equipment for the right job. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. 
And smack dab in the middle of our halftime break here this evening. 46-24, great crossing on top of Madison Southern. Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin. And, Coach, well, we got to get you some first-half statistics. Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Tonight's first half stats are presented by Traditional Bank. Who you bank with matters. First, let's take a look at the team statistics. Anything stick out to you? Effective field goal percentage for great crossing, almost 70%. Now, on the screen, you see 57% from the field, but effective field goal percentage grades your shots and your likelihood to make it. It's something analytics has brought to the game. <laughs> And when you're shooting that rate, that means you're taking the right shot and they're going in for you. Yeah, I mentioned the three-point shooting for Great Crossing, 6 of 11. Madison Southern struggling a bit more at 2 for 9. But the, those rebounding numbers really stick out to me. Great Crossing with a massive advantage. But Madison Southern, in terms of turnovers, does a very good job taking care of the basketball. They've just got to get some shots to fall, as you see the 33% from the field. Yeah, those windows just aren't there, Justin. The length and athleticism of great crossing is just limited to open looks for Madison Southern, who's a great perimeter shooting team, but great crossing's doing an outstanding job guarding the three-point line and forcing them to drive, and guess who's waiting on them in the paint? Yeah, the big fella. Big fellas waiting as let's take a look at now the individual scoring first for Madison Southern as they were led by Braden Hudson. Ten points for him in that first half, five points in each quarter there in the first half of play. Zach Hudson, his twin brother, right behind him at eight points. However, seven of his points coming in that second quarter of play. Four points for Jay Rose, two points for Mason Davis. And you got to look at Jay Rose a little bit more here, Coach, averaging 23 points a game, four points points in that first half. How does he get it going in the second half play? Well, they're going to have to screen and loosen up the defense that's guarding him man-to-man. -man. He's had Vince Dawson and Godfrey all over him in the first half, and their length and they're able to stay in front has limited J. Rose's open looks. And now scoring for great crossing as they had five guys find the scoring column. Three of them end up in double figures as they're led by Vince Dawson. He had 13 points, 13 of his 17 in that second quarter. He was followed by Malachi Moreno with 14 points in that first half. Moreno also with nine rebounds, so well on pace to get a double-double here in this one. Ten points for Junius Burrell, three points for Gage Richardson, and two points for Jalen Warren as it was a fantastic showing for this great crossing team in the first half of play, much like it was a fantastic showing for Lexington Catholic earlier today, Coach, in our first game as they got it done 60 to 50 over the Broncos of Frederick Douglass. And now they wait around, see who wins this game. As right now it's a 22 point margin, but as you know, it's March. Things can flip in a hurry, so I'm sure they're tuned into this one here. Right. Well, their coaching staff is sitting right behind us. Coach Salzman and his staff went and probably took a shower and came right back to the gym because there's no better scouting than in person and you have that opportunity during tournament play. So I'm sure they're taking notes and trying to figure out how are they going to stop this, whoever the winner may be. Yeah. But who, whoever they get on Tuesday night, they oh. get notes right here in front of them. Well, and if it is great crossing and they end up hanging on to win this game, how about that 11th region championship? Three losses combined amongst the two teams, over 60 wins. That's going to be incredible if that is indeed the matchup that happens on Tuesday night. Let's go ahead and step aside for a break here. We'll come back on the other side, and we will just about be set for the second half of action. Hopefully, Madison Southern can throw a few punches, get back in this game, much like we saw Frederick Douglass do earlier here today. Stick with us. More coverage of your 11th region semifinals coming up on Glycon. Plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma, good for you, great for life. Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. 
college for your world. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path. Rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the home ownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage. Opening doors. And just about set for the second half of play now as we've got under a minute left on our halftime clock. Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin as it's a 46 thir or 24 rather went or lead for great crossing over Madison Southern. I'll get it right here eventually, but coach with this big deficit for Madison Southern, how do they come out and get this game closer and within reach here in this second half? Well, there's no 22 point shots, so you got to come out and just chip away at it. You have to shoot the ball. You have to get stops on the defensive end. It puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the team that's trying to come back because you nearly have to play perfect and the other team has to play bad. And how about for great crossing? Is it as simple as just keep doing what you've been doing to build this lead? Well, I'm curious to see if they can keep their concentration level up. Sometimes when you get a big lead like this, you kind of have a letdown and you think that possession doesn't matter and you look up and you're back in the ball game. As we have got underway here in this second half, a fortunate chain of events there for Madison Southern as that was going to be a turnover, but it went right off the leg of one of the great crossing players, so they roll a kicked ball, and the Eagles get to keep the possession. As Nobby trying to get inside, draws some contact, and there's a good thing to start this half. Get yeah. some fouls on this great crossing team. Pick up a foul, see if you can get to the bonus. The best best way to score when you're trying to come back is when the clock is stopped. Looks like both teams going with their starters for the game as it's Case and Nobby, Jay Rose, Braden Hudson, Zach Hudson, and Avery Davidson to start the half for Madison Southern. And great crossing going with Vince Dawson, Junius Burrell, Gage Richardson, Jeremiah Godfrey, and Malachi Moreno. But Junius Burrell actually just checking out of the game as he picks up his third foul. And another foul back to back. That's the third foul against LJ Holman. And he's the guy that just replaced Burrell on the floor. So back to back fouls here and a couple guys with three of them now for the Warhawks. And a good pass in bounds, but can't convert as that was Zach Hudson. Attacking the bucket. Quickly up. Dawson sidestep three. And he hit three of them in that first half. Couldn't get that one to fall, but Moreno on the stick back and draws the contact. It's a great job again by Moreno keeping that ball high, absorbing the contact, and finishing through the rim. I know a lot of people don't like that foul on the big fella for him to get that call, but if you get fouled, it doesn't matter what size you are, how big you are. He deserves that call and great finish. 
And he converts on the three-point play as well as he's now got 17 points here in this one to match his teammate Vince Dawson. That lead is ballooned up to 25 now. Fantastic crowd here for the second game this afternoon. It's a triple header today here at Dunbar as we'll have the 11th region girls championship coming up tonight. As Jay Rose now gets it inside. And he has had a tough afternoon as he leaves it off for Davidson. Now with Hudson, his three, good. Braden Hudson now with 13. Richardson inside for Moreno, who steps out beyond the perimeter. Now he'll set a screen, gets it right back, and can get that one to fall, but the contact, and Madison Southern can't believe it as a couple of their players with hands in the air. Now that, now that was a tough call. I just said the big fella deserves every foul, but he faded away on that, and the referee thought he was pushed. Let's get another look at it there. I didn't see very much contact, very minimal as Moreno hits the first one. And how about this coach for being seven foot one? He's now eight of eight from the stripe tonight. You got something when you have a big fella that's going to draw that many fouls, can go to the free throw line and make the opponent pay. And as I say that, he airballs. I will completely take the blame for that one. That's five push-ups, Justin. <laughs> I don't know if I'm capable of five push-ups, for being honest. <laughs> The crowd will never know if you're doing that. <laughs> As Hudson set to toss this thing inbounds. And he'll bring it up the floor. That's Braden Hudson with it. Now he gets it off to Nobby. Nobby over the top. Davidson thought about a three. Instead gets in the lane. Puts up the floater. Good idea. Just couldn't make the shot. And now we got a tie up down low. And it's going to go back to great crossing here. Just, that was a good decision there by Davidson. It's a great decision. You got a great look. Those are ones you got to get. Got to get two points for that. And now Madison Southern going to deploy a little full court press here. Over the top, Moreno. He'll lob it up, and I think that that might have gone in had Godfrey not touched it, but he grabs it and throws it down. So Godfrey officially will be given the points. I think Moreno may have made that as now Hudson on the other end gets one up and in. In the corner now, leaving it off Dawson. And his look can't drop as Zach Hudson gets it across the timeline and promptly gets fouled as we'll take a look at that last oop there by Godfrey. Oh, that was really close. Really close. <laughs> Really close, but whenever you got a seven footer passing to a six eight guy on the high school level, yeah, I mean, that's tough, man. It's a good thing to have, right? Your coach Page as the ball inbounded for Davidson, but he can't catch it cleanly, and it's going to go back to great crossing here with under six to play in this third quarter. Moreno will trigger the inbounds as he gets it in for Dawson. Looks like Jalen Warren took a little bit of a shot as the Warhawks going to turn it over here. And then Madison Southern does the exact same. The second half starting out very similarly to the start of this game. Both teams really struggling to find their footing here. Again, like I stated, it's hard for young guys to keep their concentration when there's such a big lead. And the great teams, they can do it. And the teams that are getting used to being great are on that journey. They learn how to do it. And that's what great crossing is at right now. As Hudson, another three, gets a default. Now coaches it the same thing on the other side of things for Madison Southern. Easy for them to lose concentration as well. Well, they're the more determined team. They're more desperate. Right now, Madison Southern should have their PhD. They're poor, hungry, and desperate. And they got to <laughs> get back in this game somehow. I've never heard that, but I'll never forget that. As down low, Godfrey 
We'll leave it off for Moreno, and we're going to get a foul going against Braden Hudson, who remains down on the court. And Moreno going to help him up. Love seeing that sportsmanship. Saw a lot of that in our first game today here as well as we take a look at the replay here. Godfrey mm. dropped it down low for Moreno, but the dunk doesn't count. As Richardson set to trigger the inbounds here. Three crossing back on top by 20. It was just 25 moments ago. For a nice little spurt by the Eagles as Dawson floats this one up and another easy one that he can't convert as we're going to get another jump ball and back to Madison Southern this time. Heck of an effort there by Avery Davidson at six foot one, giving up a foot, able to tie up Moreno. Jay Rose crosses midcourt. Davidson being guarded by Moreno. Kind of like what we talked about in the first half. If he's on Davidson, it's pulling him out of the paint, which frees up some space for Madison Southern. See if they can take advantage of that here. As Zach Hudson thought about a step back three, but Dawson on the takeaway quickly up for Godfrey, who wanted the slam, couldn't get it, but Richardson on the stick back, no, and Godfrey on the third attempt gets it to fall. That's just effort there as Godfrey with his fourth point of the evening. 52-34. Jay Rose down low will get his sixth buck, or sixth point rather, and we are going to get a timeout taken here, a full timeout, so we'll slide away for one as well. Stick with us more, 11th region semifinal action coming right up on Glycod. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. And back here, Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School as we have played halfway through this third quarter of our 11th region semifinal number two, a 60 to 50 win for Lexington Catholic in game number one here today. And now these teams battling it out to try to meet that Lexington Catholic team in the championship on Tuesday. So far, it's been all great crossing. Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin. And Madison Southern has shaved two points off that halftime deficit, but it's been really tough for them to get any closer than that 20 points. It has. They have to live and die behind the three-point line trying to get back in this game. And great crossing is so versatile and so many athletes and able to finish at the rim and shoot the ball. So it's a tough, tough team to guard. Uh, speaking of tough team to guard, Moreno floating it up for Godfrey, trying to oop it to him again. Uh, this time it caroms out of bounds, but it will stay here with the Warhawks. Inbounding for Moreno, drops it up top for Warren. Now the shot by... Dawson, and he converts again. That's his first bucket here in the second half. On top, Hudson. Moreno clears another rebound. Big game for him here today. 18 points and a handful of rebounds as well, more than 10. That ball knocked out of play, and it stays here with great crossing. Richardson will trigger the inbounds right in front of that great crossing bench. As Dawson going to take his time dribbling near the midcourt line. Gets the screen from Godfrey, and this time he can't get it up off the glass as Jay Rose comes away with the rebound. 
Rose behind his back, now threads the needle and draws some contact, so a pair of free throws upcoming. Yeah, Jay Rose was determined to either draw a foul or get the layup right there. When you're a scorer like he is and you're being held below your average, you got to try to get one to go in or go to the free throw line to see the ball go in. And once you do that, it can become contagious for him. Rose knocks down the first one. Not just being held below his average, but being held way below his average. Guy who's putting up 23 a game, he's now got eight. He goes two of two from the stripe here. 75% from the free throw stripe this season. Vince Dawson looking for Moreno. Now back out top for Godfrey. And Moreno somehow had some space cleared, and he'll get another jam. That's a grown man amongst young fellas right there. Up to 20 points now for Moreno and another takeaway as Dawson going to come up and he'll just lay it up and in. Thought he was looking for the cram there. As it's now a 24-point lead. Back in near the timeline is Nobby. It's the screen from Davidson, floats it up over Moreno. How about that shot? First points of the day for Nobby. Moreno off to the left. And losing possession with it was Jalen Warren. They're going to rule that he was fouled. That's the fourth team foul being called against Madison Southern here in this third quarter. Actually, both teams with four fouls up on the scoreboard, so free throws the rest of the way. Warren will trigger the inbounds here. Easily gets it in for Moreno. Now out for Dawson. Godfrey wants to drop it down low to Moreno and does. Back with Moreno. And what, we got a foul? I thought, didn't know if they were going to call a foul or the travel there, but they get the foul instead. And that's going to go against Jay Rose. Yeah, they just don't have an answer for the big fella in the paint. And when he gets it, he just needs to keep the ball high, turn and score. And he's been bringing it down a couple of times, but to no resistance, you know, it's just a tough task for Madison Southern. It's another one from the stripe here. And in all fairness, coaches, there's not a whole lot of teams that have had an answer for Moreno as we look at their 32-1 and record. <laughs> no. As the second one also up and in. He's a good-looking player, though. I hadn't seen him up until this point this season and been really impressed by his game. Yeah, he's improved a lot. And just to realize that he's still a junior, yeah. you see why he's being recruited by everyone in the country. Well, him and Dawson, both juniors, they could be scary next season. As Braden Hudson gets that last bucket to fall, Godfrey now on the three. Rebounded by Davidson. Quickly up Nobby, cross-court pass. And driving baseline, nobody waiting there for him. And Brayton Hudson says, thank you very much. I'll take the easy one. And that deficit back down to 20. And we are going to get a timeout called here with a minute 18 left in the quarter. It's a full timeout, so we'll step aside for one with them. Stick with us more. 11th region semifinal action upcoming on Glycon. Confidence and security of a pre-owned Kia from Cartown Kia. This incredible certification package is loaded with a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 10 years of national roadside assistance, and two years of free maintenance. Choose from over 70 certified pre-owned Kias or over 1,000 vehicles of all makes and models. It's new car driving at used cars prices with certified pre-owned Kias from CartownKiaUSA.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. A minute 18 left here in this third quarter. As we've got a 62-42 ball game. Great crossing continuing to lead here in this. And they have made it really difficult for Madison Southern to get back in the game. And 
Coach, I mean, it's not like Madison Southern's not trying. It's just every time they get it a bucket on their end of things, great crossing comes right back and answers. And when you're down 20, that, you can't trade baskets yeah. if you want to get back into the game. As it will be Warhawks basketball coming out of this break. Still have an opportunity to add on to that lead. Haven't seen Junius Burrell or LJ Holman back on the floor for them as both those guys with three fouls here in this ball game. Godfrey with it down low. He misses somehow, and Jay Rose comes up with the board. Up for Hudson. They leave him. He'll take the three, this time leaving it short. And Moreno, yet another rebound. And how about that by Hudson battling to get that basketball? And how about his effort? And now a race for it as it goes out of play, and they're going to say last touch by Madison Southern. Great hustle by both teams. Great effort. Yeah. Big time plays. When you're down 20 and you're still getting effort like that, that's why Coach Wright believed in this program and took on this job because he knew he had young people that would come out and fight and play hard from start to finish. By the way, I mentioned it earlier, in his 33rd season overall as he has spent time all over the state of Kentucky as Moreno yet another dunk to extend that lead a little further. Uh, he spent time, Coach Steve Wright, that is, spent time at Walton Verona. You've got Laurel County and South Laurel, Southwestern, Montgomery County, Madison Southern, as you mentioned, his first year here. So a guy who knows the game very well, been around it a long time. That's very advantageous coming into a new program. Well, he's been coaching longer than most people have been alive. He told me he was a young 67 years old, and he still gets excited <laughs> about practice and game preparation. So why not continue to coach? And as you see there, also won the state title at South Laurel in 2005. Has Nobby able to convert on the first free throw. Yeah, very unusual. A coach in his 33rd season will take on a new job, but that's exactly what Coach Wright has done this season. Second in the state in career wins. As Nobby gets them both. Four points now in the game for the junior case in Nobby. And uh, down to a 20-point deficit again, but Richardson with a good look at three. He can't convert. Nobby with a heave, and he will not connect either. And that will bring us to the end of three quarters of play, 64-44. Great crossing on top. We'll have the fourth and final quarter upcoming. Stick with us for the 11th Region Semifinals today on Glycod. First open during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher. By making a real difference in the communities we serve. And by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Fourth and final quarter set to get underway here from Dunbar High School, 64-44. Great crossing on top in your 11th region semifinal game number two here this afternoon. And this segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Meyer. Visit their Hamburg location at 2155 Paul Jones Way for any of your shopping needs. Meyer, a proud supporter of Central Kentucky High School Athletics on Glyco. God. Justin Kalen back here with Murray Garvin. And, Coach, it's been a fun day here at Dunbar High School. A couple of games we had wished were a little bit closer, but it's been fun nonetheless. Well, it's fun watching young people compete. These yeah. games mean so much to not only them, but also to the cheerleaders and their communities. And when they come out and play, you got to get behind it. And, it, like you said, it's a ton of fun watching them compete. As an early turnover to begin this fourth quarter for Great Crossing. 
See if they can hang on and advance to the 11th Region Championship on Tuesday as we're going to get a travel here. Thought they were going to let them get away with that as it was Zach Hudson jumping up in the air and did not get that pass off and quick enough there. As Junior Esparel back in the game for Great Crossing. He's got three fouls. As now Dawson all the way to the hoop and haven't called his name too many times here in this second half. Uh, he's got his sixth point, first of the fourth quarter. Now Hudson on the miss, but how about that? Almost like he did that on purpose, just threw it to the other side of the bucket and put it back up and in. Just crafty scores. I will say he might have did that on purpose once he saw Moreno <laughs> coming toward him. It's a pretty good strategy if he did. Just using his speed to get to the other side of the rim real quick. I might have to keep that in mind if I ever join a gym membership again. <laughs> As Dawson on the turnaround floats it up and in. Back-to-back -back buckets for him to begin this fourth quarter. Now Jay Rose trying to answer, and he will. And Jay Rose finally in double figures now with 10 points. But his team continuing to trail by 20. Richardson gets it to a wide open. Christian Martin who can't convert. Now up Braden Hudson. Drops it to his twin Zach and tough finish as he had to hit that one high up off the glass to get it over Richardson. We've played two minutes now here in this fourth quarter. Madison Southern doesn't go deep into their bench, and I just feel like some of their guys are wearing down. Yeah. Having to battle the size and athleticism of great crossing, it's just taking a beating for some of their players. <laughs> Speaking of taking a beating, Burrell that time loses possession in the air, but he's able to gather it and stick it up and in. And he's now up to 12 points. Lead back up to 22 now. As dropping it down low for Hudson. He's starting to find the groove as he's got his fourth point of this fourth quarter. And we are going to get a timeout taken here. We'll slide one in as well. 70 to 50, your 11th region semifinals today, right here on Glycock. Probably a competitive brother. Psych, and I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? Foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> and if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. So get Allstate and be better protected from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Contact Louisville and Lexington Allstate agent Thomas Allen for a quote today. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Five and a half minutes left here in this contest. Great crossing 70, Madison Southern 50. Justin Kalen back here alongside Murray Garvin. And coach, every time Madison Southern just tries to get a little closer, we get back to this 20-point deficit, and that's pretty much where we have hung around for the entirety of this second half. Yeah, great crossing. That 20-point lead just might be too much for Madison Southern. It only plays about six guys, and I just don't know if they have the energy level and the bodies to climb back in this game with 528 left. Yeah, you mentioned it prior to that timeout, just not very deep on their bench, so you can kind of see tired legs out there for the Eagles, and they've really struggled to climb their way back into this one. As Richardson down low for Moreno, and that guy, big number 24 in white, might be a big reason why they have such tired legs as they've really had to work against him today. Yeah, he's a load down there, and Madison Southern just don't have the personnel to match up. And credit to Great Crossing, they realize that and they get the ball inside instead of other people trying to do things that, why not take the easy route? Yep. Throw it into the big fella, let him go to work. Inbounding it here as they'll get it in for Godfrey, who can't convert, but Moreno on the stick back. Why not? Now with 26 here in this ballgame for Malachi Moreno. 
As getting all the way the bucket, Hudson missing, and it'll stay here with Madison Southern as Moreno knocked it out of play. Inbounding it here. I think that might have been tipped. I don't know if that's where it was supposed to go as Jay Rose, the acrobatic shot. And it goes out of play but stays here with the Eagles once more. Braden Hudson set to trigger the inbounds here. By the way, haven't brought it up on the broadcast. Talked to Coach Page about it, but if Great Crossing is able to hang on, which it seems like they're going to be able to, will be their first ever trip to the 11th Region Championship. Remind you, only fifth year in existence for the school. Madison Southern, by the way, they have also never played in the 11th Region Championship. So we were getting history today either way. As Braden Hudson will get it down low for Rose, and that's just long, and that's kind of a microcosm of the entire game for Madison Southern. Absolutely. Now Moreno gets fouled down low. Looked like maybe a frustration foul there for Jay Rose. Just a reminder, stay with us following this ball game as we will bring you post-game coverage. Your final statistics, most outstanding players. As Dawson to trigger the inbounds. In for Richardson. Now Burrell drops it down low for Moreno, who gets it stripped away. And an outlet pass this time not going to be converted. And Hudson stays laying down on the floor, and that's going to lead to an alley-oop for Moreno. Davidson will try to take on Moreno. Now Nobby floats it up and in. He's got six points in this ballgame, does Case and Nobby. All of them coming here in this second half. They're going to try another oop, this time down low for Jeremiah Godfrey. Couldn't convert on the oop, but does grab the rebound and stick back, and he's got six points. His two all coming in this second half. As Burrell to Godfrey, that's what they wanted to do last time down. And Ger Godfrey, perhaps with the exclamation point, as we are down just over three minutes left in this one. As now the three-pointer taken by Hudson. This is a great crossing. You know, if you get sloppy and you start – taking bad shots, the runouts are going to pile on and these guys can finish above the rim. There's Moreno again trying to get down low as he's going to take some contact. As we'll take a look at that oop, Godfrey with just a filthy throwdown. <laughs> filthy. <laughs> I like that description, description, Justin. Filthy. As it is a 78-55 ball game, 250 left, and a lot of the great crossing starters coming out of the game. Malachi Moreno will head over, as will Gage Richardson and Vince Dawson all coming out of the game. As it looks like they are going to advance to take on Lexington Catholic in what should be a fantastic ball game on Tuesday night. You can find that right here on Glycod, so make sure to tune in if you want to watch that one, and you're going to want to watch that one. Yeah, that's must-see TV. Absolutely. On Tuesday night, you're going to have two heavyweights going at it right here for the championship. As the Warhawks set to inbounds here with 237 left. Mentioned that 11th region championship game. We've also got other regional championship games as well. We'll get you caught up on the upcoming schedule for Glycod here in our post game tonight as well. But first, we've got a little two minutes and plus some change to clean up. As 
Great crossing with just a dominating performance here tonight as it's going to be another bucket by Jalen Warren. And Coach, we haven't even talked about it. How about the fact that this Madison Southern team, highest scoring team in the 11th region at 75 points a game, has been held to 57 at this point. Yeah, it's just too much great crossing. That bucket happened so fast, didn't even see who scored that yeah, one. Uh, young Holloman. Holman. Gotcha. Has a three on the other end. Nobby splashes it home. By the way, that bucket by Holman, his first points of the evening. And great crossing back up by 22 now as we're under 90 seconds left to play. Burrell will fire another one. Why not? As he's got 15, and we are going to get a timeout taken here. With a minute 24 left in this ball game, looks like they might just be doing a substitution here, both teams. So we're not actually going to go over to the sideline, which means we'll keep it here. That's great crossing already back out on the floor. Referees do signal 30-second timeout. Well, now teams are going to go over to the bench, so we'll step aside for one as well. Stick with us. More upcoming on Glycod. First open during the Great Depression. And we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher. By making a real difference in the communities we serve. And by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. And back here, Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School as we have just about wrapped up our semifinal action, at least in terms of the basketball play on the floor, as it's an 85-60 lead for Great Crossing as they will advance to take on Lexington Catholic and Tuesday night's 11th region championship right back here at Dunbar. Coach, these games normally played out at Eastern Kentucky but moved here to Dunbar this season. And it's been a fantastic event here today. It's been a fantastic event. Again, the closeness in the gym adds to the atmosphere. I know everyone likes to play at EKU in the arena to get you ready for Rupp Arena, per se. Mm -hmm. But you can't replace the high school region tournament in the high school gym. I, I mean, it's just what makes Kentucky special. Yeah, I agree. As a few substitutions coming onto the floor now for Great Crossing. As it's going to be Jordan Kuntz, a 5'11 sophomore. Ryan Payne, a 6'3 junior. And Travanti Cooper, a six-foot sophomore, also coming on as a score down low. A couple substitutions in the game for Madison Southern as well, as that one was Landon Adams getting it to fall. And now the rebound inside. And Cooper wanted that one, now it's taken away. As Braxton Arnett, a 6'4 junior, gets that one out of there. Three-pointer taken here, short. And tracking that down was Landon Adams, who saves it inbounds, and now a foul down low. With 39 seconds left. And I always think this is an underrated time of the game in terms of building your program coach maybe you could talk about that a little bit either whether you're on the winning side or losing side you've got these young guys in the game that's getting them valuable experience oh well it gets them experience and it gets them the opportunity to play in front of their families you know it, it's a big deal to them to get in I don't consider this garbage time by no means it's a great way to build you know to I hear a scream. <laughs> it's a great way to build for the next coming year and give guys confidence. As we are down to just over 30 seconds left as a takeaway here for the Eagles. And Madison Southern going to keep playing until the final horn, especially with them younger guys in. 
top now, Micah Whitaker, who knocked in those last two free throws. He's got it now. Gets it right back as we're down to 10 seconds left. Whitaker off to the left, and Madison Southern resigned to just hold the ball for the duration of the rest of this one. 85-64, great crossing, gets it done here tonight, and they will advance to the 11th Region Championship on Tuesday night where they have got a Lexington Catholic team waiting for them, as that's going to be a good one. And tonight was a lot of fun as well, but it's a big win for the Warhawks as we'll step aside for a break here, come back on the other side, and we'll start to break this one down for you. More 11th Region semifinal coverage coming up on Glycon. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. The news says Gen Z is struggling. I've got news for them. I wait tables. But last week, I built a field hospital. I put out a forest fire. I stopped a thousand attackers. And a natural disaster. I've saved lives. And led a team on patrol. I serve. While I go to school full time. While I work full time. The greater the challenge, the stronger we become. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now, through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher, by making a real difference in the communities we serve, and by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. Donating plasma is an easy way to earn up to $600 a month as a new donor while saving lives. That's right. Every donation you make helps patients in need survive and thrive. Returning donors also see monthly bonus payouts and I give rewards points. Go to CSLplasma.com to learn more about plasma donation. CSL Plasma. Good for you. Great for life. Tonight's post-game recap is brought to you by CSL Plasma. Be rewarded for your generosity. Do the amazing. Help save lives. And back here, Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School, where we have wrapped up our doubleheader here this afternoon in the 11th Region semifinals, as it was an 85-64 win for Great Crossing here in the second game this afternoon after a 60-50 to win for Lexington Catholic in game one. So it'll be Great Crossing, Lexington Catholic meeting up in the championship on Tuesday night. Justin Kalen back here with you as it was a fun ball game as it was one a tough ball game for Madison Southern really struggled to get anything going from the opening tip here in this one as they trailed 17 to 8 after the first quarter that was then ballooned up to 46 24 at the end of the first half of play before it was an 85 64 win for Great Crossing. As I mentioned, they will advance to the championship on Tuesday night as we're going through the all-tournament team here, all-regional team of the tournament portion here at Dunbar as Coach has ran off to try to find Coach and Player to interview as we'll step aside for another break here, come back on the other side, and we'll bring you your final statistics. Stick with us. We've got more 11th Region semifinal coverage coming up on Glycon. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. 
with health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. The words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. I love Head Start. Children love Head Start and you will too. Community Action Council's prep academies are hiring now. Head Start is an early childhood education program for children from birth to age five. Help us give more children the Head Start advantage. Teachers, what are you waiting for? Join our team of dedicated education professionals. Apply online today at comaction.org. What are you waiting for? Let's get real. With us, you'll get a great education that can lead to a great career faster. Even better, you won't end up with crippling debt. College for the real world. College for your world. Flycon on YouTube is Kentuckiana's fastest growing high school sports video site. When you click to subscribe, don't forget to tap the bell and be notified of our upcoming live broadcasts and other unique video content. Subscribe for free now at youtube.com backslash Glycon. This is your season to save on our incredible selection of new Kias from Cartown Kia. You can't beat the powerful design of the new 2024 Sportage. It's your choice. The new 2023 Kia Sportage, just $349 down and $349 per month, or the new 2023 Kia Sorento, just $349 down and $349 per month. Unmatched design, performance, and savings all in one at Cartown Kia and CartownKiaUSA.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by... Car Town Kia. Visit their showroom at 3120 Lexington Road in Nicholasville or browse their inventory at cartownkiausa.com. Car Town Kia. Movement that inspires. And back here, Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School, where we have wrapped up our 11th region semifinal basketball action here tonight, as it was an 85-64 win for Great Crossing in game number two. And we've got to bring you some final statistics from the contest, a look at tonight's final numbers brought to you by Traditional Bank. Who you bank with matters. Let's first take a look at the team statistics here. As you see, Great Crossing there, 53% from the field. Madison Southern shooting just 41% from the field. Neither team all that great from deep as it was a 36.8 mark for Great Crossing, 27.3% for Madison Southern. The numbers I'm really most impressed with looking at this sheet is the free throw shooting for both of these teams as Madison Southern went 10 of 11, good for 90.9%, and Great Crossing 12 of 13, good for 92.3%. By the way, 10 of those 13, or 10 of 11 of those 12 of 13 coming by Malachi Moreno, a fantastic job shooting the rock from the free throw stripe here tonight. Nine assists for Madison Southern. Great Crossing ends up with 19 12 turnovers for Great Crossing, 11 for Madison Southern. The rebounding numbers are really what tells the story as Great Crossing able to pull down 42 rebounds. Compare that to just 23 for Madison Southern and 13 of those 42 Great Crossing rebounds were on the offensive side of things. So really hard to beat a team that's that good, that polished, has that many scores, especially when they're getting extra opportunities coming off misses. As Now let's take a look at our individual individual scoring first for Madison Southern as they had seven guys find the scoring column none bigger than Zach Hudson though who poured in 22 points here in this one his twin brother Braden had 17 10 points for Jay Rose who really struggled to get 
get anything going tonight. Nine points for Kaysen Nobby, two points for Micah Whitaker, Mason Davis, and Landon Adams late in that game. Great crossing scoring as they had seven find the scoring column as well. None more important than Malachi Moreno. 28 points for him here in this ballgame, including 15 rebounds to go along with those 28 points. 15 points for Junius Burrell. 25 for Vince Dawson, who had 17 in the first half of play. So a fantastic first half for him. A little bit of a lighter second half, but he still had 25 points to go along with his, what, seven rebounds, four assists. So a fantastic night for Vince Dawson. Eight Eight points for Jeremiah Godfrey, four points for Jalen Warren, three points for Gage Richardson, and two points for LJ Holman. As that's a look at your final statistics, now let's turn our attention to the most outstanding players from this one here, as tonight's most outstanding players are presented by Elite Building Products in Nicholasville, locally owned with an outstanding selection of windows, doors, and siding. For more info, visit them at Elite Con Kentucky.com. And pretty simple decisions for us tonight in terms of the most outstanding players. As for Madison Southern, we're going to go in the direction of Zach Hudson, who, as I mentioned, 22 points for him in this one. Also had four rebounds to go along with those 22 points. So an outstanding performance by him here in this one. And he is your most outstanding player for Madison Southern for a great crossing. Kind of a toss-up between Vince Dawson and Malachi Moreno as Moreno with his 28, Dawson with 25, but Dawson also had seven rebounds and four assists. But it's hard to ignore Malachi Moreno who poured in 28 points 15 rebounds, and one stat on this sheet that I don't really ever pay attention to, 10 fouls drawn, and that is a big stat because of what he did at the free throw stripe. Not only is he drawing fouls, but he's knocking them down once he get there as he went 10 of 11 from the free throw stripe. As That is a look at your most outstanding players, Malachi Moreno and Zach Hudson taking home those honors here today. As we'll go ahead and step aside for a break, we'll come back and we'll continue your postgame here as it was your 11th region semifinals today 60 to 50 a win for Lexington Catholic before great crossing able to get it done 85 64 here in game number two stick with us we've got more upcoming on the other side right here on Glycod. the reason I went to traditional bank I just felt at peace the atmosphere was different Anytime we need anything, traditional bank's always there for us. Can't say enough about them. Tradition to me means integrity. That's what our product's based on. Just the way I did it 25 years ago, we're doing it now on a mass scale. My name's Curtis Mackley, and I choose traditional bank because of the relationship we have formed with them and their integrity. Welcome to Mingy Beef Jerky. We first opened during the Great Depression, and we've been open for over 85 years now through everything that's come our way. We've stayed open by working to make life easier, better, and fresher. By making a real difference in the communities we serve. And by being the kind of place where your money always goes a little further. That's why we're open. Come see for yourself. Let's get real. For a lot of people, four years of college might as well be a million. With us, you can get a certificate in a matter of months and start a career right away. College for the real world. College for your world. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four-year course debt-free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. Three words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life-changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. 
All the other stuff is on-the-job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. The Martin family has been in the trucking industry for over three generations. My grandfather started this company selling salvage parts in the 1960s and we're celebrating over 20 years as a Peterbilt dealer. Although we've grown and changed over the years, our focus has always been on you. We get it. When your truck's down, you're not making money. That's why we keep thousands of quality parts in stock so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. At Martin's Peterbilt, relationships matter and that's why we've been around for generations. Come see us. For any of your window, door, and siding needs, contact the team at Elite Building Products. Their factory certified, licensed, and insured contractors have been installing energy efficient windows and doors for over 30 years. They also offer energy tax credits and military veteran discounts. Locally owned and open weekdays at 242 Wilson Drive, just off of the 27 bypass. For a free estimate, call 859-887-2440. Elite Building Products. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Here at the 11th Region Tournament with the semifinal win winner, Coach Steve Page of Great Cross. And Coach, great win today. Thank you. On, on to the championship round. Yep. Yeah, you know, for us, obviously, last two years we lost in the region semifinals. So um, it's a nice next step, obviously. We want to go a little further than the next step, but um, you know it's it's really good for our kids to come out today and you know take care of business in the first half. Well, I thought the matchup with Madison Southern, I knew that they could shoot the ball from the perimeter. Your three-point line defense was tremendous today. Uh, was that something that you really poured into your guys about? Absolutely. We knew that they were going to spread us out, uh, play five out. Um, and Malachi was going to have to guard out on the floor as well. Um, the last time we played him, the Davidson kid made three threes. Um, so we knew the three-point line was going to be huge for us. We couldn't let him get um, hot early. Um, you know, I think they were 9 for 29 in the first half from the field. So um, we held them 15, 14 for 54 last time we played them. So, um, yeah, we want to extend it out. We want to make Rose's catches as, as hard as they possibly could and then make the, you know, make the Hudson twins make tough shots. And, and uh uh, you know, and really extend out on him. And, you know, Jeremiah's linked out. I think he got Hudson once or twice, you know, on shots with, with blocks. Um, and then we, you know, we had three, four kids that had two fouls in the first half. And LJ Holman, Jalen Warren came in and really defended really, really well. They they kind of picked that pressure up for us defensively. You know, when you got Janias and Jeremiah and Gage Rich and three of your starters sitting over on a bench, right. it's nice to have those two kids to be able to come in and, you know, give you a lift like they did. Absolutely, and I thought the defense that Vince had on J. Rose along with Godfrey, their length really bothered Madison Southern, and the shot windows just weren't there. Yeah, You know, your guys are long and athletic, and it seems like your game plan defensively really played a factor the entire game. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, we knew we had to guard them at the three-point line. Um, we knew they were going to take a lot of threes. They do all the time. Um, and we knew if we let them get hot from three, then it was going to be a struggle into the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, we had those three days to work on it, um, you know, show them a lot of film, um, you know, about where they get their stuff from. And, and the kids, you know, they've done a great job all season of locking in um, to what the coaches set our game plan up. So, um, you know, that's what we got to do the next two days. Absolutely. And then the big fella in the middle, Malachi, what – a lot of people don't understand with him is he's going to draw fouls, but he's able to go to the free throw line and yep. capitalize from the free throws. Yep. So, you know, coaching a guy like that, how is it coaching him against much smaller competition some nights that he's got to stay focused, stay poised, and not get caught up in the chippiness yep. or the hard fouls that he receives? Yep. You know, he, he he's awesome with it because, you know, I feel like sometimes um, – you know, down there because he's seven foot one, he probably takes a little bit more beating than, right. you know, a smaller kid's going to take, you know, get some calls. Like Tuesday night, I thought uh, there were several times that fouls weren't called. And early in the game tonight, I thought the same thing. Um, but I was looking at the stats after, and they committed 10 fouls on Malachi. Wow. 
Wow. So, um, you know, he went 10 for 11 at the free throw line. Um, you know, we, we sometimes, when we play our worst offensively, is when we get away from playing, getting the ball into the paint, whether it's mm-hmm. throwing it in there or on the bounce, right. um, getting into the paint and, you know, kind of settling for threes. We went those threes inside out. Um, Trey and Janias got hot there in the second quarter, and I thought most of them were out of the flow of, you know, getting the ball in and then moving them out. And they were so wide open, they you know, you right. have to take those shots. But, um, yeah, it's a nice luxury to have Malachi Moreno, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, look, the elephant in the room. Tuesday night, I mean, you got the one and two teams in the state going head to head sure. in the championship match. I know you guys played earlier in the season. It was a very tough, hard fought ball game. Yep. I thought the fourth quarter, you kind of separated from Lexington yep. Catholic, but their coaching staff was sitting right behind us. I know that they're going to be prepared, you're going to be prepared. I think this is the game that everyone anticipated. How do you feel about that matchup? I, it is. I mean, you know, all year it was uh, us one and two. So we, you know, I think we all thought that this is how it was going to end up. The 11th region is so crazy. Um, a little bit surprised that it ended up that way just because the 11th region is so tough. But, I mean, you know, some people would say it's a shame that the, you know, one and two teams have to play. And, you know, I'm, you know, I think it's what's great about Kentucky high school basketball. Absolutely, um, you know, you're going to bring all six. You know, you got to you got to win your geographic region um, <laughs> right. to be able to play at Rep Arena, and um, both teams are going to bring it. Um, both of us will have game plans that we'll have to probably adjust and then adjust again for the adjustments mm-hmm. that the other guys making. Um, so we like our team. I know Coach Salzman loves his team as well. Um, you know, so we'll um, you know the the meeting we had had a, a while back makes no difference on on Tuesday night. Um, don't expect it to make a difference if we you know if we come out to play. We like our chances, um, just like they like their chances. So we'll throw it up. Um, have fun and see if we can continue. We, we've played a lot. We, we did our schedule for a, a game like Tuesday night. Right. Played a lot of games like that, a lot of championship games. This will be our, I think, fifth championship game of the uh, of the season. Um, so we're we're used to it. Um, you know, so hopefully when we get punched in the mouth, so to speak, um, on Tuesday night, because they're going to make runs, that our kids will be able to respond to that um, like we did the last time we played them. Because we got up 10 early, they took an eight-point lead, and then we ended that game on a 19-3 to run. So um, so it's going to be back and forth. It's going to be two great teams, um, you know, and, and be a shame one team won't go to Rep Arena, but at the same point, it's a great thing about Kentucky basketball, and, and uh, you know, we're ready for it. Well, Coach, we wish you luck on Tuesday. Like I said, it's going to be a heavyweight fight. And join us, join us Tuesday for the Region 11 championship game as Great Crossing takes on Lexington Catholic. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Confidence and security of a pre-owned Kia from Cartown Kia. This incredible certification package is loaded with a five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, a 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, 10 years of national roadside assistance, and two years of free maintenance. Choose from over 70 certified pre-owned Kias or over 1,000 vehicles of all makes and models. It's new car driving at used cars prices with certified pre-owned Kias from CartownKiaUSA.com. You're watching Central Kentucky High School Basketball from Glycod. Back here at the 11th Region Semifinal with Vince Dawson. Vince, great game tonight yes, in the semifinal round. Thought you shot the ball really well. How do you feel about your matchup coming Tuesday versus Lexington Catholic? Well, of course we're going to feel really good about it, but we're going to come into this game like like we've never came into a game before because they're the number two team and we're the number one. So to some people, this is the this is the championship right here. Yeah, well, again, great game, winning, great season so far. I know that the season is measured based off Tuesday night. This is what you dream about. I want to wish you luck. Um, tune in with us on Tuesday and you're going to see one of the premier players not only in the region but in the state and Vince Dawson and he and his club will go off against Lexington Catholic for the Region 11 championship. Join us Tuesday night. Back to you Justin to close us out here.
Yeah, thank you, Murray. Back here as we will take a quick look at the Glycod schedule upcoming. As join us Monday evening, 6.30 and 8 p.m. as we will have the boys' 8th region semifinals out at Henry County. A boys' 7th region championship at Valley at 7 p.m. on Monday as well. And then Tuesday night, 6th, 8th, and 11th region championships as we schedule those for you as well. So all things basketball, high school basketball, good grief, let me get it out of there, you can find right here on Glycod. Most exciting time of the year. Before we get out of here, certainly want to thank Steve Bird, the executive producer of Glycod, getting us all the game notes we needed to be able to bring you all a great contest here today. Chris Labar, our on-site producer, normally would have been on the call for this one, but been under the weather, so we let him have the night off and in terms of his voice, so great job producing today, Chris. And then Joe O'Mellon on camera for us. Murray Garvin was on color here this evening. As that's going to wrap it up from the 11th region semifinals, your finals one final time. Lexington Catholic gets it done 60-50 to over Frederick Douglass and Great Crossing 85-64 over Madison Southern as those two teams will meet up on Tuesday night. This is Justin Kalen saying so long and good night. You've been watching 11th region semifinal action here this evening on Glycod. From Glycod, this has been IBEW Local 369 Central Kentucky High School Basketball. IBEW 369, power up your potential. Tonight's game was brought to you by Bluegrass Community and Technical College. Never underestimate you. CSL Plasma, do the amazing, help save lives. Meyer, higher standards, lower prices. Traditional bank, because who you bank with matters. And by Community Action of Lexington, Martin's Peterbilt, Lexington Outdoor and Power Equipment, and Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Allen. Visit our website, glicod.com, Facebook and Twitter, at Glycod. We thank you for tuning into this live sports presentation from Glycod.